Hello, hello, hello. How great is it for all of us to come together? Now we can't ignore that this is certainly a different way of gathering in a virtual format because of the pandemic, but that is not stopping the fun and entertainment you are about to experience during Music Connects Our World. So first things first, I'm Marcus Washington, anchor of NBC Bay Area's Today in the Bay. And when I'm not anchoring the morning show starting at 4.30 in the morning, I'm working with the Lesher Center from College Notes to On Broadway 2019 and talk about a good time. So last year's On Broadway event, so much fun, the people, philanthropy, and so much good music. And we can't deny, everyone looked great. Now for this event, maybe you're wearing a gown, a tux, some jewelry, or maybe you're just in your jammies. But no matter how you're dressed, I want you to sit back, hey, even stand up and dance as we listen to the beautiful music featuring accomplished jazz musician and songwriter Sarah McKenzie with acclaimed international musicians. So thanks for coming and enjoy Music Connects Our World. Welcome and a very happy 30th anniversary to the Leisure Centre for the Arts. Although all concerts are cancelled this year, I and many others can't wait to get back to the Leisure Centre and perform for you all in 2021. The Diablo Regional Arts Association and the Leisure Centre for the Arts is truly a cultural jewel and a leading source of inspiration and creativity, even in times of great crisis. All performing arts centres around the globe are closed at this time, and I encourage you all to support the DRAA's Pave the Way for the Future campaign to ensure that this fantastic centre stays relevant and vibrant for many years to come. I can't thank the DRAA enough for giving me this opportunity to present you now a truly unique experience, a virtual music spectacular entitled Music Connects Our World. Through this virtual music project, we have been able to continue playing and recording music and collaborating with different musicians from all over the world whilst being in complete isolation. In this project, we have musicians from Australia, from America, from England, from Hungary, from Canada, from all over the world. And everybody, all of the participants have been in their own countries filming themselves just on their phones. And we have been able to cut all this music together and continue playing through this challenging time. Music may not be an essential service, but it is medicine for the soul and an important medium that connects our world at times when we need it the most. Now is one of those times. In 1975, Ella Fitzgerald and Oscar Peterson recorded a duo album together, which was one of the biggest successes for them both of that year. To commence our program, I have chosen the jazz classic, I Hear Music, and I think it's rather a fitting beginning to begin our program, as we all need to hear the music.
Music has always connected our world, and jazz, in particular, has always embraced players from all continents. Dizzy Gillespie famously introduced South American rhythms into his music, and introduced players to America, like Lalo Schifrin. Oscar Peterson, also. He had an English drummer, Martin Drew, a Danish bass player, Niels Henning Orsted Pennison, and a Swedish guitarist, Ulf Arkenius, in his last quartet. It's important for me to continue on this legacy of incorporating all players from all nationalities and all backgrounds into my own music, but also integrating myself into the global world of music. The next song features the before-mentioned guitarist Ulf Arkenius from Sweden to play an original composition of mine. This is I fell in love with you. Somewhere between the night and daylight breaking, I fell in love with you. a clue. I didn't hear it humming. Tell me now, what do I do? Somewhere between the jumps, voices laughing. I fell in love with you. Somewhere between the smiles, stolen glances. I fell in love with you.
I've been very lucky as a musician to travel the world and one of my favorite countries that I've been to without a doubt is Brazil and Rio de Janeiro specifically. One of my favorite composers comes from Brazil and that is Antonio Carlos Jobim. Now Antonio Carlos Jobim, he was a famous Brazilian pianist, singer, composer and arranger and one of the greatest exponents of Brazilian music. Many people call him in fact the father of Bossa Nova. In 1960 he, he wrote a beautiful tune, one of the most beautiful tunes entitled Corcovado which is a song about the beautiful mountain which stands in the foothills of Rio de Janeiro. I would like to perform it for you now alongside two of Brazil's finest musicians. On cello, Jacques Morelembaum and on the guitar, Romero Lobamba. We perform it for you now. Jovim's composition, Cocovado. Um, dois, um, dois, três.
found with you The meaning of existence Oh my love marks the centennial of the jazz legend Dave Brubeck. UK bassist Jeff Gascoigne, an American drummer, Donald Edwards and I would like to perform for you now one of his most famous compositions, Blue Rondo a la Turk. Now Dave Brubeck was a very worldly person and on his travels he visited Turkey and while he was there he heard some of the Turkish street musicians play and he heard them playing a really unusual rhythm. It was a rhythm in 9-8 time. And when he asked some of these street musicians, where did you get this rhythm from? They replied to him, Dave, the 9-8 rhythm to us in Turkey is what the blues is to you in America. And this is a fantastic example of how music connects our world. Dave then took that Turkish rhythm of 9-8 time and incorporated it into his own music and created this incredible composition. We'd like to perform it for you now. Here it is, Blue Rondo a la Turk. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Que reste-t-il de nos amours is a popular French song written by Charles Trenet and Leo Chauliac. Albert Askew Beach later added English lyrics and the song was renamed very simply, I Wish You Love. This song has made its way into the jazz repertoire and is now a jazz classic. And some of the most famous recordings of it are by Ella Fitzgerald, Blossom Deary, and Harry Connick Jr. We would like to feature a fantastic Italian trumpeter on this song, Fabrizio Bosso. This is I Wish You Love. Shelter from the storm, a cozy 
fire to keep you warm But most of all, when snowflakes fall I wish you love For the next song, we are moving to Argentina. Asta Piazzolla was a bandonian player and composer at the forefront of the music of Argentina, the tango. Now Asta Piazzolla revolutionized the traditional tango by creating an entirely new style, Nuovo Tango. Nuovo Tango was different because it incorporated elements of jazz and improvisation, counterpoint, dissonant harmonies, and also extended compositional forms. For our next presentation, we would like to feature one of the great new voices of the tango, praised as one of the most brilliant bandonists in recent years, and someone who wants to take the tango forward into the 21st century, is Omar Massa. He will be accompanied by French bassist Pierre Boussoguet, American violinist Shaman Plesner, and myself on vocals and piano. We present to you now my composition, Don't Tempt Me.
All of our lives have changed so suddenly this year due to coronavirus and things we used to do freely are now either banned or limited and I think it's quite normal for people to feel uncertain and distressed at this time. I do also know that the show must go on. Music is so important. Music can transcend our differences, encourage individual empowerment and promote social integration. We must always continue to find a way to make music together. In the next performance, we have an all-star lineup. On the trumpet, Ingrid Jensen. On the saxophone, Gabor Boller. On vibraphone, Warren Wolf. On the drums, Donald Edwards. And on the bass, Linda O. Oh. And on the piano, myself. To play an instrumental composition of mine, this is Sink or Swim.
For the next song, we're making our way to Germany. And in Germany, they have no speed limits on their highways or autobahns. You can simply go as fast as you want. Now, my first experience on the autobahns was quite exhilarating, to say the least. After I got over the initial shock that was and pulled my fingernails out from the dashboard, I realized this was an experience that would make a fantastic composition. And so I have come up with the next tune. And I'm very excited to present it to you now because I have a fantastic special guest joining me. He is just an extraordinary trumpet player, lead trumpet player from the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. We would like to feature on the next tune, Kenny Rampton. This is my composition, Schneller.
For the next song, we stay in Germany and make our way south to the border, just near Austria. I'm very inspired by choral music. Uh, I think some of my favorite composers are John Rutter, Charles Villiers Stanford, and Ralph Vaughan Williams. There's something very inspiring about choral music and voices singing together, and perhaps composer John Rutter says it best. Choral music is not one of life's thrills. It's something that goes to the very heart of our humanity, sense of community, and our souls. You express when you sing yourself in song. Recorded in the beautiful little town of Mittenveld, Bavaria, in the church of St. Peter and Paul, by soprano Suzanne Hegel and her students, this is my choral composition, Lord Be Our Guide. Oh. 
And now we come to the grand finale. I've traveled the world and I've played with so many different musicians and it's been so much more than what the color of your skin is, what your background is. It's always been the common goal of playing music together. And you can only do that when you listen and work together. And that is why music is so important and why we must always continue to make music together. Music really connects our world. The final song is a composition that I wrote during lockdown and is arguably one of my most daring artistic adventures yet. Featuring four pop studio musicians who have played with the likes of Michael Jackson, Celine Dion, Barbara Streisand and Michael Bublé, just to name a few, I would like to feature now these incredible musicians. On the drums, John J.R. Robinson. On the bass, Jürgen Attig. On guitar, Michael Thompson. And on the Hammond organ, John Guillotine. Before I sign off, I would like to give a big heartfelt thank you to the DRAA, the non-profit partner to the Leisure Centre for the Arts. Without your generous support, none of this would have been possible and we would not have been able to continue creating and playing music at this time. It's just been an incredible experience to join all of these wonderful musicians together and I can't thank you again enough for your incredible support. Keep up the absolutely fantastic work and I hope to see you all again in 2021. Thanks so much. Someone's waiting for my heart. Though we sail on certain seas Somewhere the weather's fine Somewhere the stars will shine Someone's waiting there for me Someone's waiting for my eyes For they see a world of peace Somewhere the trees to climb We'll drink the holy wine Someone's waiting there for me Feels like I've been here the longest time Waiting patiently to claim what's mine Now the time has come and all that I can see Are people holding hands For love is touching souls Someone's waiting for my heart for my love is strong and true And if your loneliness is seeking tenderness Well, I'll be waiting here for you I'll be waiting here for you I'll be waiting here for you Well, I'll be waiting here for you 
I'll be waiting here for you. I'll be waiting here for you. I'll be waiting here. I'll be waiting here.